Yo, what's up? <laughs> Till now I've been in stealth, now I'm ready to show myself I'm fitted in armor, more than prepared to stand and defend myself Against all evil Yeah, that's 1996 <laughs> I haven't worn a hat for so long Listen, I want to tell you something Vlogging's weird And I'm just sharing all this random stuff But um a fact that you might not know about me is that I used to be a hip-hop artist when I was younger. Well, I had a music studio for many, many years. Really a, just a huge fan of music and people who did it. I wasn't super amazing at anything myself, but it didn't stop me from trying. I had a lot of fun. I had this music studio called Hyper Music Studios. It was in a shipping container and I built it all myself. But before that, I'd had it in bedrooms and this and that. But this video, is about the past and nostalgia because what I, I found this up on my office wall and it says believe everything I lose is found again everything that is hurt is healed again everything in my world happens as it is meant to happen each change or experience teaches me to grow it's a very wanky cheesy thing but it it just resonates with me I like it because belief is big you know all this stuff about believe achieve and conceive and constipation all this stuff it only works if you actually believe because saying it and reading it and posting it on your Facebook it, it doesn't do a thing you have to live it you have to do it but I, I tried to become a hip-hop um, star I have the weirdest style it's ridiculous this is the rap of the century I'll mess with you intellectually And if you think this is a catastrophe You'll get over it eventually ah! I made a video to try and get like a record deal and some investment and, and stuff And it all went down and really badly Ended up um, losing some money and investors lost some money And it was a really bitter part of my life And one that I'd like to re visit for my own self to know that through adversity comes knowledge uh, if you see it that way you don't have to have a bitter memory of a past situation that didn't go your way you can use it as a fuel you can use it as a lesson you can use it in many ways g to the p that was my hip-hop name and i used to play live a lot and i used to do this and i was really obese and had all the baggy clothes and the hats and this and that, it's hilarious. But I had a lot of fun and I basically did it as humour. Uh, so humour was a huge part of my my style in rapping. So you might hear some weird stuff. Abuse it, cause it won't last long. Well, think, think about, about it, probably just at the end of the song. Fuck it straight from the underground. I, I didn't really have a style to be honest, I just really enjoyed doing it. It was a great hobby. I ended up getting some cool people to talk about my music, listen to my music. Yeah, I'm gonna show you some of them now. Uh, but the one I wanna focus on was, we were talking all serious stuff, trying to get people to invest and also record companies to possibly sign me. So there was a lot of like technical talk and people, I made this 20 minute investors sort of video. But I got my mate Hamish, um, at the time I was living with a great bunch of people and some people that I'm so happy that I've been able to spend time with uh, because they've taught me a lot in my life and, and were really good role models. But at the time I, I just, I said to Hamish, can you help me out, what would you do? And he just took it and ran. He literally came up with the idea when I arrived at his house with a video camera and just went with it. So I'll show you what he came out with. Um, I wanted, all, amongst all the serious talk about the, where we were going to record, how we are going to do it, how much money, all the people involved and the radio station backing me and everything, he was just being himself which is quite witty and quick and he also loves playing a character. So as you can see um, from the title of this video, you know, this is P Diddy, Puff Daddy, um, Hamish, Blake, uh, so thanks for all that support back then to everyone who did support me and it's it's really nostalgic for me as a big portion of my early earlier life which uh, I almost forgot about they're like chapters you just 
where you're at now, you go, shit, did I used to wear my pants like that? But anyway, if you're going through a tough time, believe, because everything I lose is found again, like this footage. Okay. I'm serious now, cause that's the mission. Whatever needs a fix, and there is only one condition. You can't do something if you don't put in. I say what I say when I say every day it's okay if you laugh, but you know I'll win. That one's definitely got some moments in there where it can cross over to the commercial market for sure. The music that I've heard of George's is, uh, is definitely, uh, I, th I think it's a really nice balance of uh, doing something that's original and, uh, and you know, and really authentic, but at the same time, would very easily be part played on some commercial radio, I reckon. Some material that's really going to cross over, that's, you know, pop material. Um, material that's going to work, work in the clubs and on the dance floor and on the radio, but also material that's going to be a bit more interesting. Really awesome ability to be able to create a song within two to three minutes, which actually creates vibe and captures amazing lyrics and and would convey really great over the airways. But there's at least four or five crossover tracks that I think could do some decent business. Yeah. I support any new hip hop act. I mean, whether they're crap or not, it just so happens that G to the P isn't crap. And I say to him, we have meetings pretty much every week. I've managed to sit down, look at lyrics, look at beats and stuff. And, um, and I just say to him, mate, you ready? Get out there, do it, make all the money, get all the diamond rings. I mean, I, my diamond rings are in the kitchen at the moment, I take them off to the dishes. But I've got them, and I've got a lot of big chains, and that's because I'm successful and I got out there. Am I jealous of G to the P? No, I'm not, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous at all. I mean, I've, I've had my slice of pie. It was a big pie. It was an enormous pie, and I had a good slice. But he did, I mean, I'm P Diddy, and he did do G to the P, so... He did copy me a bit, I mean he stole the, the initial thing, but I don't care, I don't care. I mean I see a lot of similarities between me and G to the P anyway. I mean, apart from the fact I'm a black man and he's a Greek Australian kid, but I don't look at race. Any advice for any advice? I just say, mate, get out there, get up on stage, it's in your heart, drop it like it's hot. I mean, I know that's Snoop Dogg, but he doesn't own it, anyone can say that. He says some of my stuff anyway. And I remember when I was going out with Jennifer Lopez, she said my love don't cost a thing. But then she made me buy her a Bentley. So, if I have any advice, be cautious if you go out with Jennifer Lopez. I have to say I really respect the way that G to the P is going about this. Getting investors and stuff like that. It's very hard. To, it's, it's a tough market out there. And I believe, because I'm part of the rap fraternity, that, um, that he's got what it takes. I mean, I'd help him out as well, but... I'm, I'm broke. I have big, I'm very expensive parties, and there's you see very little change from that. So I, I would help him out, but I'm more, more of a moral support, I think I am. Yeah, and he is really undertaking a big task here. He really is. I mean, say to G to the P all the time. There is a lot involved in getting out a single or a track. You've got you got to think of it. You got to. Do, and there's so many things involved. I could sit here forever telling you about the little things. Sing it into the mic, put it on tape. So many things, so many things involved. And that is sell it, get it out there. It goes on, at least goes on. And that all costs, that's money. If there is anyone in Australia that can do this, it's um, normally I'd say me because I'm, I'm at the top of my game still, but technically I am. African American, I'm not Australian, he's an Australian Greek kid. And um, it is G to the P. Introducing in the only way I know how. How the reaction is a race I brow. Moving crowds like a snow plow. G to the P, how you like me now? Applicable to me, it's a change like the Melbourne weather. My feet like a feathered animal I'm a rap cannibal Eating up motherfuckers Like I was their six like a cannibal